seeing how sad her sister is about the move, she then sings the now iconic Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which I want to talk about because I didn't really, again, most times when I watch this, I'm just kind of being like, oh yeah, we watch this every single year. I know all this stuff. But I was sitting there listening to this song and it has kind of a melancholy to it. And mm-hmm. it's that's for sort of in in the time of the story of the movie, it's because, you know, she too is rather sad. They're going to be moving away from their family and their loved ones and their friends. But I was then thinking about like what time this movie came out. This movie mm-hmm. was released in 1944, which mm-hmm. was a year before World War II ended. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the movies that were made during that time were this kind of like escapism. It was, I think that's a big part of why this movie is so kind of like apple pie, like the perfect mm-hmm. American family, happy, reminiscent times. But this song, I think, really has a feeling of like, this is a Christmas song that would be written during wartime mm-hmm. of, you know, saying like, through the years, we'll all be together if the fates allow and all this other stuff of like, our loved ones are maybe overseas fighting right now. There's kind of a sad melancholy to it, but sort of a look towards a happier future. So that really stood out to me when hearing that song this time and watching it and thinking about the context of when it was written. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was really emotional. It was a very sweet moment. And I think it was a, it's a lovely song that I've always loved and always been like sort of seen that dual, like that it's such a specific emotion that I think is so tied to a particular parts of the holiday where it's like that song starts nostalgic, right? Like when it came out, it was nostalgic. Like there's nostalgia in the way that that song is written. Yeah. I think there's something about that that is very indicative of Christmas in so many ways to me, Mm -hmm. where it's like the ways that we talk about tradition and the ways that like people's expectations are. And then like, the ways that inevitably with (laughs) expectations that high, like it's also this marking of the passage of time, like where it's right before new year's and we're celebrating the past year and we're celebrating what's coming up and we're all getting together. And especially like, as we get older, you can see each other less and less often. And so you don't get the opportunities to, to be together in that way. Like, I just think it's like, so indicative of this, like the nostalgia, the, all the emotions of Christmas. I think it's really impactful about that moment too, is that we've talked a lot about how early on Esther and Rose act as if they are these very mature people and we see their the immaturity in their actions. And mm-hmm. I think these final scenes during Christmas time, I think Esther is really coming into her maturity when she decides to take the high road and not prank this girl when she, even though she's sad, she has this moment to kind of comfort her sister. And there is a greater maturity there in her. We've seen her growth in this one mm-hmm. year. And I think that's really beautiful. Uh, and that I think comes together really well in those moments. Mm-hmm. 